I mean, that's the, that's the biggest thing is, yeah, there's a sense of intensity with it and uh, there's a sense of, you know, focus that comes with it and, you know, making sure everybody has is doing their job. But, but I mean, this is the same team we were last week and the same team we've been all season and that's kind of the focus that we need to have going into this playoffs. Is we're an we're uncommon group and, and that's uh, what we're going to continue to try to prove. You touched a little bit upon it with the shuffling of the line. I mean, Brian O'Neill's out. What what do the tight ends maybe have to do extra to protect Kirk since you've lost some pieces on the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just one of those things, uh, you know, where protection's our main priority uh, in, in any given week, you know. Um, you know, whether, whether Brian's here or not, uh, you know, that's, that's just the, the main focus, and we have to protect Kirk, and we have to protect, um, you know, that backfield. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, there's going to be things, but that's just the nature of the tight end position, you know. Uh, uh, and like I said earlier, I don't know if it's going to be more or less than, than what we normally do. How much does having Irv Smith back, you know, help with personnel? look you know whether it's blocking or pass catching yeah i mean it's a great addition i mean irv coming back i mean i haven't i don't last week was the first time i was able to play with him um you know and but for we're in the same class uh you know we're, we're buddies outside of here and so uh before i even got here so just to be on the field with him um you know there's a there's a dynamic that he uh, brings and so we're just excited to have him back and, and have both of us on the field. You want to make sure I heard you right. You say you're an uncommon group. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the, you, you know that's, that? what do you mean by that? I mean we're we talk about it all the time. You know, just being uncommon among the common, and um, you know, just the tightness that we have in this locker room. You know, that's things that. A lot of guys in here haven't seen, uh, you know, and uh, the the amount of friendships, the amount of uh, you know focus, and, and everything that we do in this building is uncommon. You know, that's just kind of how we like to look at it. So. Knowing that, and knowing that the NFL changes every year, locker rooms change, teams that are good one year don't make the playoffs next year. Does that bring urgency to maximize opportunities when you get them like this? Yeah, I mean that's always the case. I mean, and you know, there's a lot of guys in here in this league, you know, that have played for a long time that have only made to the playoffs a few times, you know, and so every opportunity you get at this, at this, and, you know, then, yeah, there's a sense of urgency, there's a sense of, uh, you know, you only get a few, so um, obviously there's always that, but it doesn't change anything that we've done throughout the season, uh, you know, we're the same, same group, same team uh, that we've been all season, you know, next season it will be different, but, um, you know, we're not going to change that just based on it, it's playoff time. When you talk about the closeness, do you think that's why this team is going well in clutch situations? Yeah, 100. I mean, I think everybody knows that we can, you know, we have each other's back um, in any given situation, and uh, we communicate that too. You know, I mean, there's there's not a person in here that you can't talk to, and there's not a person in here that can't talk to us. Too. So it's, um, you know, one of those things where you know communication is, is key, and um, you know, having that friendship and having that uh, relationship built is is huge.